Hello, my name is Killian. I came to the house like 14 months ago and I've been here ever since. I'm 24 years old, um, initially came from Berlin and yeah, love in Chiang Mai. Been here for over a year. So I came to Chiang Mai and the house because before I discovered the raw diet um, three years ago and before when I was living in Berlin I had trouble um, sticking to a raw diet. I did it many times for like certain periods of like one or two months and I did like raw to four and even I also did starch solution and tried out all kinds of different vegan diets basically. But it never, nothing ever made me feel as good as just eating fruit. And well, at some point I just decided I need that experience in the tropics because I've never had good tropical fruit. I've only had European and like German fruit. And um, I really wanted that experience of like fresh tropical mangoes and pineapples, papayas and these things. Um, so that's why I decided I had to I had to leave Berlin and initially just thought I'd come out to Thailand for as long as possible and um, well ended up being quite a while um, but yeah I've, I've found the house um, of course like through YouTube and things I've uh, watched it and I just felt like that well I'd never traveled on my own I've never been outside of Europe even and um, I just felt like having some safe environment would be really nice to um, have a place that I know that I'm gonna go to once I get to the airport and everything. Uh, and that's exactly what, um, yeah, what uh, worked out amazingly. Um, being at the house helped me on my journey in a way that, well, when I came here initially, it was just amazing to be in a completely foreign city, but have such welcoming, loving people that I live with in a house that just took me out on, uh, yeah, into town. They, they took me out on the bike. Joe immediately took me to the bike shop because I wanted to buy a road bike here to get around. And we immediately picked up a bike. I had a bike in like three days after I came here or something. Um, and then other people from the house just started taking me on rides to the town, started showing me all the markets and all the places and it was just super nice to like get to know the city in the beginning and at some point after a month or two I felt very comfortable on my own in the city and it started feeling more and more like home and um, then in the house it was just well there was just it was easy to eat the way I wanted to eat because you just had people around you that um, accepted the way everyone wants to eat like no one judges the other and uh, for what they want to eat so I could really like stick to my um, yeah fruit uh, raw diet quite easily and um, yeah the house went through a lot of changes through the whole period because I've been here probably the longest out of anyone because throughout the whole year I never felt I never felt up until now that I'm ready to leave, sort of. Um, because I was still, there were still things going like discoveries, uh, self-development discoveries about my own and my food habits. Even when I was already eating completely raw or just fruit or I had uh, juice fasted for 30 days, I al always discovered new layers of like my eating behaviors that I wanted to fix. And initially I thought, I come to Thailand and I just eat fruit and my eating behaviors are fixed. But then I started realizing, oh wow, it's not as easy even if you have the good fruit to, um, that it's just like fixed and uh, all your eating addictions, food addictions, eating behaviors are gone then. So with the house, there was a lot of people that have similar uh, food issues and we had a lot of um, experiences to share everyone goes through certain um, stages and then no one is scared to share their experiences no one is scared to share if they uh, ate some food that they didn't want to eat or something because we all learn 
from sharing our experiences and we share our cravings and struggles that we had or our um, realizations that we made and it was just amazing to yeah to constantly be able to also voice your realizations to someone to just speak them out and um, just constant improvement throughout the whole year there was never like a stagnation and like um, it was just constantly something happening and and more and more and more happening more change happening more positive effects coming so I've never felt like leaving leaving the house and now I came to a point where I'm feeling really ready to um, start going on a little bit of a journey and adventure on my own and go out and travel and just live. Um, well, the spiritual thing was one of the most interesting things and in now, seeing it now, because initially, of course, my mind told me I come to Thailand to eat fruit, but after like for like 10 months of being here I started to realize oh I didn't come to Thailand actually to just eat raw or just eat fruit um, but uh, suddenly my spiritual development um, just started it started going so rapidly that I had so many realizations and like awakening moments um, that it even um, yeah made the the whole food issues that I had weighed so heavily in the past, um, yeah, it made the food less and less important that it really created feelings of being able to let go of, uh, of food that I don't need. Like the spiritual um, side really helped me in not even needing as much food anymore because I am constantly aware of why in certain moments my mind has a, like comes up with a craving or one certain food or I really got in touch with my body of like noticing when I'm just bored or when there's still patterns from the past that trigger me to go and eat something even though I don't even eat something and the more I started to have the spiritual practice of um, observing my, my thoughts and my mind constantly, the more ridiculous it became to just eat the food or something even though I didn't need any. And um, yeah, it wasn't, the, it wasn't that I um, planned to go through like a spiritual sort of awakening here because, well, you can never plan that. But that's, yeah, that's the way bigger thing that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I went through so many stages throughout this year, it's incredible where I came here and I was still thinking, well, my body needs a lot of, a lot of calories, a lot of sugar to like have energy and to go cycling and things like that. And then at some point, our whole house vibe started to change in the more um, cleansing way. And um, looking, yeah, really looking into our food addictions. And I started to notice that um, I, I listened more to my body and really started to get a feeling of, wow, there's, I need so much less food. Like the body needs so much less food than I and a lot of other people always thought and always talk about, especially on YouTube as a lot of people being like, well, you need to get enough food, you need to get food. And once I got the experiences of going through days and weeks with like little food or, or going through for a whole week without food and um, still feeling good and or, or being on a juice fast and feeling super light, um, you discover the body in a whole new way and you connect symptoms in a whole new perspective where a lot of like, um, yeah, tiredness and sluggish, feeling sluggish or something like that um, didn't feel like, oh, I need to eat to get energy anymore. It started to turn around and like, oh, my body is tired and I need to give it rest. 
and I need to just let it work and, and go through detoxification and not keep on pushing in more food. So at some point my body started to really give me signals of like rejecting food, really not wanting to eat. And then I just listened to that and um, yeah, just went by how my body felt. Um, well, for me, Joe was <laughs> one of the most important people here, of course, in the house because he's been, of course, the person that has always been in the house. So for the past 14 months, we too have kind of been like the core of the whole house. And then a lot of the other people around it um, just changed in like sort of like a flow, like people came and uh, stayed for a month or two and then they left again. Um, so I, I felt like a really solid part of the, of the whole house. And um, Joe just, yeah, he's just constantly there available for talks and discussions. Like all my, um, like the whole spiritual thing was not like, I just had questions here and there sometimes. And he would always um, be there with answers. And then these answers, his words, made me like enabled me to like be in my room on my own then or be on my bike on my own and then have my realizations come in and then I would like come home or I'd come out of my room and like go to Joe again and be like dude I just realized something crazy and this and that happened and um, it's just amazing to have such a solid friend constantly around that um, that just is always there to talk about everything, literally anything. Like a lot of people, because we come from the YouTube community, think we're like, it's all about food, but we're just talking about anything, literally any topic. You don't have to be afraid to like speak it out or talk about. And um, it's just in incredible the work he puts in here into like making the house as comfortable as possible uh, for everyone and and like the yeah all the stuff that is here that you can use and that, that people share and it's just um, yeah so much work that Joe puts in here that I appreciate so much um, of yeah being able to use use all of that um, my tip for people that are in a similar situation that I found myself in that well I'd, for me of course you can do everything you kind of want to achieve in any place like I've realized especially in Chiang Mai that it is not about Chiang Mai or the place at all it's I really love Chiang Mai the weather here is great and everything but you also start to realize the place you're in doesn't like on a fundamental level it doesn't matter at all about what you can do it's it's often just your mind telling you oh, I hate this place I, I can't do anything here but for me the feeling of like going to Thailand for example came off like f from an intuitive feeling of like I, I need to do this and I had no specific reason I didn't really know why I had to do this but now I thought in the beginning I might stay here for two months or something and now it's turned out to be 14 months because it just started coming up more and more of like the reasons why why I'm here. And um, for people, the, I think a change in place, this whole traveling um, or getting outside, like getting into a different culture, this whole experience in, in, in Thailand was such an incredible experience, especially, especially in Chiang Mai because of the Thai local people as well that are so insanely friendly. You get so many situation experiences in the everyday life with local Thai people that don't even speak your language, but you just vibe with them so well. They're so loving and welcoming and warm that you don't even know them. They don't even know you, but they don't care. And um, it gives you a completely different view on life suddenly when you come out of like a Western society. 
and you come into this culture and then you have you, you have these amazing local people in this town and this amazing f fruitarian raw vegan community around you that um, it just there's like if you can let yourself fall into it and like relax into it because that was my initial prob sort of problem when I got here I like was super uh, excited to like get on the bike and I trained super hard and cycled a lot and, and every day and um, couldn't really just let myself get into the flow and at some point I got off the bike and um, from that from that point on for the past eight months now I've just been in such a flow that whenever I want to cycle I go cycling whenever I want to uh, do anything I just do whatever comes up there's no pressure anymore and no one here pressures you creates pressure for you to do anything if you just want to lay around a whole day everyone's like oh cool what did you do and you're like oh, I laid around for a whole day and they're like, oh, that's amazing <laughs> so I really do think this experience of coming out flying somewhere on your own especially a tropical Southeast Asian country and then especially um, a place like this house is such an incredible experience if you're if you're really looking to um, to just open your open yourself up.